Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. This is a product review for a product that's been really good for me for the last two plus years and probably some more. And it's this, it's the Amazon Kindle Fire HD. It's a Kindle Fire 7 HD. Uh, I bought this in spring, it's probably about March 20. 15 and it's been a very very useful device from a consumption perspective not from not a work device and i'll talk a little bit about education with this in a second but it is a nice device and it's been very good for me and i actually highly recommend it so first of all if you're going to get one of these devices you have to get a cover all right so this cover is amazon branded you may be able to see that right there and this cover it becomes this little magnetic stand piece there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm having a hard time displaying that, but yeah. So it becomes a stand and what happens with this is it really it is nice for watching something in the evening or in the morning, you're in the kitchen, you're getting everything ready and you use this as a stand and you listen to Pandora or you listen to TuneIn and it works great. Big fan of the stand that they sell with this. I would, if, I'm, if you're getting a Kindle, I would definitely suggest it. Now, from there, I'm going to take it out of the cover. And that's like when you take these things out of their covers, they're so small and compact and nice and so fun to like hold in your hand. And you're like, I can't believe something like this is in my hand and it's so tactile and small and, and great. But if you ever break, if you ever drop one of these, and I've dropped a number of these and I've dropped a number of phones, then that's it. Knock on wood. I've never broken a screen, but that's always because I spend the extra money and get one of these guys. All right, so the Kindle Fire. So with this guy, you're going to notice there is a, hold on, see if I can get that. You're going to notice that there is an ad that comes up on the lock screen. They used to, when they first put this out, they actually had that ad on, like there's ads all over the OS and about a year or so ago it updated and it's so much nicer and better now. Thank goodness they did that. That always annoyed me to see little icons of things I could buy. I don't, I don't want that. So one thing about this is that Amazon and Google don't play well together. There's no Google apps. There's no YouTube. I have to watch YouTube in the uh, Silk browser. So that's annoying. But the big thing that this really does for me, and let me just get the brightness. The screen is beautiful and uh, that's it at full brightness. And you'll, the rest of that, I'll just leave it at full brightness. So the thing I use this for is podcasts. It's got a good, a lot of memory. And so what I do is I bring up my podcast addict. I set it to airplane mode and in the car, oh my goodness, airplane mode, it's less than 1% an hour it burns through on the battery. It's so great. And by the way, I'll just give a real quick plug. If you need a podcast to listen to, let me tell you this sustainable teaching. And I don't know if I can focus that sustainable teaching hosted by Tom Mullaney. Oh my God. It's so good. All right. So it's great for the consumption on that end. The web browser, the silk web browser, the screen does look really nice. The other thing I'll go to, of course, is books real quick. Let me bring up the book I'm reading now. And if you notice, oh, there it is. There's your cover. And let's see. If you notice, it does take a minute to boot up. So it's an older device, but it's still working so well as far as giving me my podcast. I don't know if it's going to zoom on that or not. But either way, I really like the tactile feeling. I like the way the pages look. Yeah, that might not come through on this video, but I do like the way the books look, the way they render. Overall, this has been a great device and I in the and you could tell it's going a little slow, but I have no need whatsoever to buy a new one. And now we're two plus years later. So in my mind, it was well worth the money. I think it was like 60 or seven bucks, 60 or 70 bucks. It was a special on Amazon that day. And I took the leap. I wanted an e-reader, but then I wound up buying a tablet, which I didn't have before. Uh, as far as education, not much in the way of education apps. Uh, the one thing is this one, the Kindle Fire 7 HD, not Bluetooth. I brought it to school. I wanted to hook it to a Sphero. I thought that'd be a really cool way to use a Sphero without taking up an iPad or a Chromebook. And sure enough, it doesn't have Bluetooth. So that's, and I've never had another application for Bluetooth. Um, so that's one thing it's missing. But other than that, it's been a great product for me. Uh, it's my companion on the road. Much, much appreciated. Kindle Fire 7 HD, the old 2015 version. Thumbs up from me. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below and or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Thanks again for watching.